Okay, so I was messing around in Unreal Engine 5 to start preparing for my next short and I figured I went ahead and answered some of the questions right now regarding how to convert Maui's maps into Nanite. Now, he has a pretty good, amazing documentation on all of his products and he's actually pretty up to date. So we're going to be taking a look at the Burn Dead Forest right here. And if you look in the Unreal Engine 5, he has a video right here as well if you want to watch that instead. But I'm going to just show it to you real quick in here since I'm going to have to do it for my next project anyway. So we have the winter map open right now. You have two, you have the regular and you have winter. So I have the winter one because it looks so cool and I actually need this type of lighting and environment for what I'm working with. So this is really nice. So the first step we actually need to do is go to the material. So go content burn dead forest we're gonna go to the materials we're gonna go to master right here master and we're gonna look for general master right here we're gonna open this up we're gonna click on this general master we're gonna change this to opaque all right and then we're gonna go to the pixel depth right here double click that go to this switch and you're just gonna turn this off you save this and to go back to general master and it's gonna compile some shaders here and then back to master Go ahead and click master again and then type in d-i-t-h-e-r and you're going to uncheck that right here and then we're going to save it again all right and that's pretty much it that's i'm just joking <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and minimize this here and this is going to compile shaders so i'm just going to go wait a second and then we'll come back okay so we're done with the compiling of shaders no we are not okay so what we're going to do next is actually duplicate general master so right click duplicate or control w and i'm going to name this Major General Nanite. Ooh, that sounds freaking scary. Okay, so I'm gonna open Major General Nanite right here and we're just gonna unplug WPO and PDO. I right, want to make sure that this is opaque, it is, so I'm gonna save this. No shaders? Okay. Next up is we're gonna go back to the materials and we're gonna start with rocks, okay? Because as you all know, if it has a masked material, it's not gonna work. Nanite, that is. So as you can see right here, I'm going to show you what this looks like. So that's not going to work, but I know rocks will because they're just static mesh. So I'm going to decrease the speed here and we'll look uh, right here. Here's a rock. So we're going to do this first. We're going to nanite this right here. So we're going to go back to the materials, click on rock. We are going to compile some more shaders. Good Lord. Okay, so we're going to open up the rock master right here. We're going to double click that. I'm going to scroll all the way down. We're going to change this to, you guessed it, Major General Nanite. And of course, we're going to compile some more shaders. Okay, so we're done compiling shaders for this second. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually go to our main folder. We're going to go to Mesh. We're going to find the rock again, DJ. Select everything, right click, Nanite, enable. And that's going to turn everything as far as the rock goes, all of these static mesh right here, that's going to be turned into nanite. So if I'm going to go to nanite visualization, triangles, so you're going to start seeing this weird looking colorful rainbow texture. Okay, so lit. So that means the rocks are now working. So I'm going to save this. So you can see even with the nanite enabled, we're still running 52 and this is not even with DLSS. So this is pretty high quality right here whenever you nanite stuff. All right, and the next thing we're gonna nanite in the meshes, is gonna be the slopes. All right, you're gonna see that it only has one material, which that is definitely nanitable right there. It doesn't have any mask material or anything like that. So I'm gonna minimize this right here. We are gonna go back to the materials. Look at slopes, slope is. We're going to go to the slope master double click that scroll down once again and we're going to change the parent right here to you guessed it general major general nanite and i guess we're going to compile some shaders now aren't we and now we're going to go back to the mesh slope is control a everything right click nanite enabled now everything's good if you see the texture here, that means it worked, okay? So I'm gonna go to light, lit, triangles, and now you're gonna see more of those rainbows. Taste the rainbow. Okay, so you can see we're getting surrounded by the rainbows, which is good. So I'm gonna go right here. And I think this is a slope. Yeah, this one is a slope. 
beautiful. It's not really taking a hit in our performance here. I'm still at 42. And that's the entire map. This map is huge, and I'm going to show you how big this is in a second. So go back to Mesh, and we're going to try and find another one that we can nanite. So we got the rocks, the slopes. Now, we can't do the trees, and I'm going to show you why. Because it has the leaves and branches, right? If you can just import the bark or the trunk, just the body of the tree, you can nanite that. But first, we have to compile some shaders. Okay, so we're done compiling shaders. I'm going to press Escape. And I'm going to show you the trees real quick, and I'm going to show you why this is not going to work for the trees. If I double-click this tree burn right here, you're going to see this material right here. Now, this is transparent, okay? Right now, it, Nanite is not a, compatible with that type of material, and that's why we can't do trees. But we can do these ones because there's no, because it doesn't have that material, right? So that's kind of cool because we can do those. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. The debris, definitely. We can definitely nanite this right here because if I click on this, that's okay. It's a simple one, press no. This one, yep, that's okay. So we're gonna do debris next. So I'm gonna go back to the main material. I'm gonna go to debris, which is D right here. We're gonna look for the master debris, which is right here. Double click that and you guessed it. We're gonna go part of some more shaders, yay. Major, general, nanite safe and that's why i wanted to do this now because i'm gonna have to do it for my short anyway and might as well make a tutorial while i'm doing that and now we're gonna go to the burn dead forest meshes i'm gonna go to debris you know right click on everything select all and compile some shaders okay so i'm gonna double click this make sure it's still good yeah this is just ash i'm gonna close this here select everything right click and we're gonna do nanite now so now if we go to visualization triangles, we're gonna have even a lot more of those rainbows. Almost our entire map. And I'm gonna fly out right now. <laughs> Look at this. How freaking crazy is that? You know? That's nuts. Right? So what does that mean? Well, if you played a video game before, you're familiar with draw calls. Pretty much things that whenever something is far away from you, it just pops up but with nanite you can see everything from where you're standing it doesn't pop up anymore so eventually i'm hoping they'll be able to do nanite in trees so that this entire place and i'm going to turn off the fog for now so you can see it better right here i'm not talking about the trees because they aren't they're not nanite enabled but there's no more popping up whenever, you know, like we're walking or something. Everything on the level, you should be able to see. Press 11 here. Okay. Because in real life, we don't have those draw calls. We don't have things popping in and out whenever we're walking. So that is the beauty of Nanite, right? So I'm going to go with triangles. So you can see right here, I can see those objects way over there as high and as far as I can see it. And they're high quality as well. You know, they're they're not LOD to a lower quality. They're just maximum quality. And as you can see right here, this one actually broke. I can remove all these trees with this type of material. I can replace it with something else if I really want to. But for now, we're just gonna leave everything as is and I'll take care of those broken ones later because I am going to eventually replace these trunks because I want everything nanite right that's that so let's take a look at the meshes again and let's see if we can do any other ones we got the debris we did the rocks we did the slopes let's do the cover let's take a look at the cover now some cover we're not going to be able to do because if I double click this you're going to see that it is transparent right there's some transparent stuff in there you can even see it in the material right here so we're just going to do the branch these branch right here that's what I'm gonna do so go back to the materials where are you branch where's Michelle at cover cover branches right here so we can do cover branch and cover rocks but not cover dead so I'm gonna double click the branch go here and we're gonna plug in major general nanite right here and we're gonna compile some more shaders cuz we haven't had enough today okay so I'm gonna go back to the dead forest we're gonna go to mesh we're gonna go to cover and we're only gonna nanite the branch not the dead okay so 
like this. Right click Nanite, enabled. Let's check it. Boom. Now you have some branch in there that's Nanite enabled. Pretty cool. I think there's one right here hiding. Yeah. Auto exposure is on, so that's why it's doing that. Let's find a branch right here. I think that's one of them. So now, if we go to our statistics, let's take a look and see what we got here. Make this bigger. <laughs> this scene alone has one billion triangles in this scene. But what's crazy is I don't even have DLSS turned on. And I'm okay in here. You know, and that's the power of it, man. It's it's pretty darn crazy. I think this is a branch. Yeah, this is one of the ones that we did. Now we can also do the rock as well, like I said. And the last one we're gonna try is to cover rocks. So again, I'm gonna go to the materials, cover, cover rocks, scroll down, nanite. Go to mesh, cover. Scroll down because we're not doing cover dead. Remember, we're just going to do rocks. Bop. Nanite enabled. Let's take a look. Boom. Look at that. We almost have almost everything nanite enabled except, except for the big trees that has that kind of material. But eventually, I am hoping that they would fix that 